Hey there, it's Michael. So there I was, Chicago, November 2006, all excited to attend my very first annual conference with the Healthcare Business Women's Association. I joined them three years earlier because I got inspired at one of their events by their energy and their mission of gender parity and creating female leadership opportunities. You see, as a father of daughters, I wanted to change their world. I wanted their world to be better. I wanted them to have every opportunity to flourish like any boy would professionally. My journey with male allyship began at their birth. And if you're a father of daughters, I know you feel the same way about your girls. So there I was in Chicago, all excited to learn how to create more opportunity for every leader, for our female leaders, more equality. And at the time, back in 2006, I wanted to honor my daughters. I wanted to change their world. I wanted to learn something that could help me do that. But all that excitement I felt quickly turned to nerves, to anxiety, as I came up to the second floor where the meeting was gonna be held, it was gonna be a thousand women, and I got to that second floor and I thought I was the only guy there. I thought everyone was watching me, looking at me. Here's the truth, I wasn't the only guy there, and no one was looking at me. But as I waited in line to get up to pick up my badge, my imposter syndrome set in, my inner critic got going, I questioned my judgment. Why did you sign up for this meeting to begin with, Michael? You shouldn't be here. This is not your party. I just wanted to leave the situation. So I got my badge and quickly went to a corner of the hotel and pretended I had a big national sales director call to take, but I didn't. It was just a delay tactic. I was waiting for the meeting to begin and the lights to go down in the general session so I could sneak into the back. I didn't want to be seen. It was a classic case of thoughts driving emotions, emotions driving behaviors. My thought was, I don't belong here. Emotion, anxiety, self-doubt, little imposter syndrome, behavior. Well, the meeting had just started and I was already playing it small. All the great breakouts that the HBA puts together during their annual conferences, I didn't go to a single one. I thought the room's too small, the lights are too bright. Certainly I would be seen and I didn't want to be seen. When I flew back from Chicago to New Jersey, I did a good job beating myself up for not taking advantage, not leaning into the opportunity to learn more, to learn more about how to create more equality back at the shop. But most importantly, again, back in 2006, I thought I failed my daughters. I didn't honor them because I had an opportunity to learn something that could possibly change their world and I didn't. I played small at the whole meeting. And then somewhere around Ohio, I thought about my behavior. Again, thoughts drive emotions, drive behaviors. And I realized for those two days, I was in the minority. And as a white guy, I've lived my life in the majority. It's part of privilege. And in a lot of times, a lot of ways, I could always go back to being in the majority. And I started thinking about everyone back at the office who might be in the minority all the time and how they felt. We didn't have this term back in 2006, but I felt like an only, and I wondered how others back in the office felt if they were the only. What it did is it sharpened my empathy and my desire to create cultures that were more inclusive, that were more diverse, where everyone could be heard and everyone could be seen. And it changed how I looked at being a male ally. I started off thinking, well, I wanna do this for my girls. Then I realized it was a smart thing to do for business because we need complex, diverse teams to solve tomorrow's problems. But now in 2019, I realized creating cultures of equality is just good to do one human being to another. We live in interesting times. It feels choppy, feels wonky because we're creating history. And I know for a lot of men, you're unsure about how to go forward down this path of male allyship. Some of you may want to lean back, but I would want to encourage you to lean in, to do something to create a world that values diversity, that celebrates our different perspectives, our different backgrounds, our different approaches. Yes, you can be successful, but you leave a lot of success on the table when we don't work towards equality. Recently, I was at Morgan Stanley and I did a talk about male allyship and I offered up the A, B, and C, a, B, C and D of male al allyship and I'll share some of it with you today. I can't share all of it. One A is accountability. A lot of times in a lot of places, HR owns the diversity and inclusion metrics, but I encourage you to take ownership of them yourself. Be a strong proponent of it because it matters for your business. It matters 
one human being to another. The B stood for bias, checking our unconscious bias and checking who you ride with a lot. Who's in your tribe? Who's on your personal board of directors? And if your personal board of directors, or as I like to say, your Peloton, they all look like you, then your Peloton isn't diverse enough. Today, in 2019, we need diverse Pelotons to go down the road faster, to have more success, and again, to solve tomorrow's problems. The C is around connection. If you're always in the majority in the room, find a different room. Find one where you might be the only. It might help you develop more empathy. It might allow you to tap into a little bit more vulnerability and courage. Three crucial elements to be a more effective leader, to be a more effective human being. And the D, you know, well, that's all about doing something. Maybe something small, something little. And this week you can start because yes, we have a lot of challenges as a society, as businesses, but I know we can solve them together, but we need equality and diversity and to celebrate that and inclusion, heck, belonging, in order to be a little bit better tomorrow than we are today. As always, thanks for watching. Scroll down, say hello, and of course, have fun storming the castle. We'll talk to you soon.